received my instructions in the dressing room. You know what we're here for. Remember to protect yourself at all times. And when you touch gloves now, man, you're boxing the bell. God bless you both. The wait is over. Two years and seven months after they first delivered a fight of the year performance. Nonito Donaire and Naoya Inoue. Two virtuosos in the ring present Poetry of Violence. Round 13. Bernardo Osuna alongside Hall of Famer Andre Ward, and it's Donaire coming out fast with the left hook. Both fighters said they needed to be better than they were the first time around. For Donaire, impossible to think that even though he fractured the right orbital bone of Inoue and his nose, nonetheless, he wasn't able to come away with the victory thanks to the courage and boxing skill of the hard-hitting Japanese monster. Already in this first 30 seconds, I see a Donaire who's swifter on his feet. He's fainting and he's looking like he wants to hide the power and not be so predictable. And I see the same in a way, quick, fast, always thinking, looking for the big shot. Big difference here, the gloves that are being worn by both fighters. They're puncher's gloves. The first fight, they featured winning gloves. This time, the left hook of Inoue is in the Gleto Reyes horsehair puncher's glove. Nonito Donaire with the Everlast MX, a hybrid horsehair and foam glove made by Everlast. Both fighters have tasted the other's power. They respect the power, and neither fighter wants to make a mistake, especially early in this fight. The first attempt by Donaire to land that right hand, which hurt Inoue on several occasions in the first fight, and sometimes gets overlooked because of his beautiful left hook, as Inoue is able to land a check hook here with a minute 15 seconds left in round one. Japanese crowd getting into it here, Dre. Yes, they, good shot right there. In a way, gives the crowd a lot to get excited about. And this is a crowd that is typically respectful and very quiet, but it's hard to stay quiet when you see the explosive shots of In a way land clean like the right hand just landed. This fight can change with one punch at any moment. You won't want to blink because they both have dynamite in their punches. You see that left from Inoue. So far, no reaction from either fighter from the big shots that they've taken in this first round, which is impressive because the fighters are still warming up. I love to look there from... He's hurt right now, Bernardo. The bell was his greatest ally. The first time he's dropped by a headshot by Naoya Inoue, he was dropped by a body shot in the 11th round of their first fight. What a start for Naoya Inoue, Dre. Everything, Inoue was winning that round, and nothing crazy had happened until it did. A quick right hand to the temple of Nanito, and it sat him right on his butt. He didn't know how he got there. He just realized that he was on the canvas, and that's the type of explosive power that we've been promoting this fight with. They both possess it, but in a ways is a little bit different, and we saw it on full display in that first round. And now it comes time to see how each fighter reacts. Naoya Inoue is calm. And for Nonito Donaire, he's receiving instructions from his wife and trainer, Rachel Donaire. And I'm sure this was not part of the game plan. And the only positive, Dre, is there's a lot of time to make it up. You don't have to make it all up right now. Right, and the good thing for Donaire is he has great recuperative powers. Somehow, some way, he's able to eat those big shots and keep on coming, but he can't take too many more of those.
Now it's Bonaire landing that vaunted left hook. See that right hand from Naoya Inoue. Inoue, you have to pick your poison. Now it's a left hook that rattles Nonito Donaire. It's devastating power, and the legs of Donaire are not all there. And Inoue taking advantage of the moment as Donaire tries to go downstairs. And Donaire needs to get himself together before he tries to load up, but that's not in his nature. He wants to draw Inoue in, even though he's hurt, to try to land his own big shots. See another vicious left hook from the monster, Naoya Inoue. Body shot from the monster. Looks like Donaire has made up his mind. He's gonna fight fire with fire, and that's just the way it is. For better or for And wow, wow, and wow is all I can say about the monster as he does it at home. He never gave Denier an opportunity to get into this fight. He was poised, he was calm and calculated, and the big right hand that landed at the end of the first round started all the trouble for Nanito Denier, and he was never able to recover. Great, it was impressive how he did it. Yes, it is. He started landing big shots very, very early, even though he wasn't throwing the shots hard. That's the kind of explosiveness that he has. And Nito landed a few shots as well. And Inoue said, I, I got caught with the left hook, and that's what woke me up. But Inoue's power proved to be too much. And Nito was reacting every time Inoue landed clean, and there was nothing he could do about it. And Nito is a guy who's not going to run or hold or try to get out of the way. He's going to fight fire with fire, and that is a bad idea when you're facing the monster in a way because this is what is going to happen. And unfortunately, it happened to a great, great champion tonight. Um, I think he can continue to fight on. Bernardo, I'm not sure that he should, but I'm going to support my friend, and I'm going to support this great champion no matter what he does. As far as Inoue and what he has next, he is a problem for anybody in the world. Number two, and there you see three belts around his waist. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 24 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Michael Griffin, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now the WBC, WBA, and IBF Unified Battleweight Champion of the World, Naoya Monster. The monster moniker was fitting for Naoya anyway inside Tama, Japan, because there he has the three belt. There's only one missing, and he's hoping to face Paul Butler before this year is over to become the undisputed champion at 118 pounds.